Okay, guys, so I'm hoping that you went through and answered these questions. So the first one talks about body image, a random sample of 1,200 U.S. college students. Okay, so that's the parameter. That's what you're trying to learn about. You're trying to learn about U.S. college students, okay? And this is the sample, okay? That's the sample that you're, you're using. So this is the parameter, this is the sample. What is your perception of your own body? Do you feel that you're overweight, underweight, or about right? The two-way table summarizes the data. Here's your data. Of the respondents who felt that their body weight was about right, okay, what proportion were female? So we have to look. What are they looking for? They want to know, of the respondents who felt their body weight was about right, so given that their body weight was about right, so I'm looking at just this row. What proportion were female? So I would say 560 divided by 855. And you want to do that division out as well. The AP statistics test wants to see this most important, but they do want to see the percentage as well. And I think that's going to be 0.655 according to my notes. Of the female respondents, Okay, of the females, we're just talking about the ladies here. Just the females. So let me get rid of some of these markings. Where do you find the females? This is another conditional probability we're going to talk about in a minute. Conditional probabilities look at either rows or at columns. So a conditional probability, just females. I'm looking at just the females. They want to know how are the females broken up? What percent felt they were about right? So about right is 560 divided by the total number of females, which is 760. And that percentage is 73.7. 73.7%. That's how you find it. They're saying of the females, just the females. That's it. They're only looking at females. They say anything about males there. And say anything about them. So when they say that, they're looking at a conditional probability, which again, we're going to talk about in a second. So I've got to slide this up. I hope we don't lose the chart. So the, ne the next question says, oh, I guess we don't even need the chart. Yet. The mosaic plot displays the distribution of perceived body image by gender. Describe what this graph reveals about the association. Association, another word for association is like the relationship. So what does the graph say about the relationship between these two variables? Okay. And so what do we say? Let's look at is there is there a relationship between body image and gender? And let's look. Now what what to me the biggest striking difference is right here. This one's really small, and this one's kind of a big, lot bigger. This looks like it's about, I don't know, females, what do you think? About 5% of females view themselves, 5% of just females view themselves as being underweight, whereas for males, it looks like, I don't know, almost 80%. So to me, that looks like a pretty big difference, OK? Um, So that's the biggest difference. And then the other thing that draws me to this graph is that the percentage of females and the percentage of males who think they're about right are kind of similar. So it's good to talk about similarities and differences when we have these. Okay. All right. Cool. So we have one last thing to do with these mosaic plots. And that is about Python eggs. which to me would be totally terrifying to come upon some Python eggs. So if you haven't already, please pause your video and go through and answer these questions.